Good morning and welcome to Utoya Daily News. In top news today, Ohio's Attorney General has certified a petition for marijuana legalization, an initiative that activists are hoping to place on the ballot in 2022. So this means that they still need to gather all the signatures required. Uh, most states it's 100,000. I'm not sure what it is in Iowa to get that on the ballot. But their previous measure was rejected by the same Attorney General to get it even certified to allow to go forward with the initiative, and that has been passed. It seemed like they filed their paperwork incorrectly, according to the stories last week, and they seem to have gotten it sorted, which is great news for Ohio, and hopefully legalization is on the horizon. The U.S. Department of Energy is funding research into the development of insulation made from hemp fiber as a more environmentally friendly and healthier alternative to conventional preparations. I think this is great, you, great news. However, I'd like to see the private sector move forward in this. In fact, they probably already have and such things exist. The government funding research into the development of insulation as a hemp fiber to me sounds like really, really expensive hemp fiber that's going to take years to come around because that's how the government does things. But there are a lot of options out there for hemp products, and hopefully this does signal a move forward in more commonplace hemp products. I don't understand why it hasn't. Um, it's probably subsidies for large corporations or something like that, but there's just so many things that could be done with hemp at more environmentally friendly, less cost to people, and a better product when it comes to insulation and fabric and plastics and all those things, and hopefully this is the start of that. Portland activists are asking the city commission to pass a measure that bridges the gaps between state psilocybin therapy and drug decriminalization laws by making cultivating, gifting, and administering psychedelics the lowest law enforcement priority. This is Portland, Oregon, if you didn't know that. Um, I think this is just a great thing moving forward. They're kind of on the cutting edge of this. Not many other cities are quite so open-handed when it comes to psychedelics. I think Oakland, California is on that list as well. Uh, Denver, Colorado. But as this grows, more and more cities will come around. And it's almost like a train is how I look at it. So they might be at the front and this might seem way out there. But that caboose of a state that doesn't even have medical marijuana is being pulled by this movement at the front. That's, that's how I think it works. It's just my opinion. But it does seem like good news in general to have things moving forward. Moving on to federal news, Representative Ed Perlmutter, a Democrat from Colorado, and Ken Buck, a Republican from Colorado, have criticized the Food and Drug Administration for being slow to regulate CBD. And this has been an ongoing story for the past month or so here on the news. The reason I thought this was notable, even though it seems like someone's criticizing the FDA every day for being slow to regulate CBD, is that it's bipartisan. It's a Democrat and a Republican coming together to say that the FDA is too slow and it needs to change. So maybe the pressure will continue to build and they'll actually do something. Moving on to some important news here in Florida, the Florida Democratic gubernatorial candidate, Nikki Freed, or Fried, it's spelled Fried, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, she is currently the agricultural commissioner of Florida. She said, if you elect me governor, I will legalize marijuana in Florida. So that's big news. Hopefully she becomes elected governor, in my opinion. I don't know what her other positions are, to be fair. But it's been way too long for Florida to go without recreational marijuana. Uh, here in this state, if you aren't aware, it requires a two-thirds majority due to state law, not a simple majority. So unlike other states where you could win 53-47 and have legal marijuana, in Florida you have to have 67% yes. And last time there was an election a couple of years ago, uh, legal marijuana lost at 62% yes, which is just ridiculous. So hopefully this can be done at a legislative le level, uh, keep it out of the people's hands, even though most people are voting for it just because of the 67% hurdle. And I will keep you posted on that. But I thought that was great news for Florida, that she's coming forward as being completely positive with no ambiguity. An Illinois representative is working to build support for legislation to protect workers from getting fired solely for a positive marijuana test. So this is fantastic. Uh, Illinois is a recreational legalization state for cannabis. I hope this is the case around the country. It's ridiculous that you can be fired just for a positive marijuana test and not for being stoned at work. Because really what everyone is worried about, just like being drunk at work, is poor job performance, unsafe conditions. But what you do on in your own time on a Saturday night is nobody's business. And hopefully this sorts of legislation moves forward. And lastly in the news today, some science and health news. A study found that orally administered CBD does not appear to produce false positive or true positive tests for THC. 
and the likelihood of a CBD oral formulation being falsely accused of cannabis use appears low. So assuming your CBD supplements are well tested and the tests are accurate, there should be no problem with taking CBD supplements, which are just a great daily supplement for a huge variety of reasons and worrying about getting a positive drug test in the places where such things still matter. Our tests are, by the way, are way below the registered 0.03 on our CBD, which is fantastic. We're very proud of that. It's a double distilled product and it's really pure and it's a great product. I take it almost every day and uh, I think it's made me healthier in general. It's, it's definitely noticeable over the last few years taking CBD every day. That's just my personal anecdote. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Be sure to go to utoya.com, check out our awesome new specials. We've got quite a few on there. Uh, there's almost too many to list here right now. Go to Facebook and YouTube and search Utoya to uh, like, subscribe, follow, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. Don't miss our live stream this Thursday at 8 p.m. And have an excellent day. Thanks for joining me.